Greetings, San Antonio. While over 20% of the city's general population lives on less than $20,000 a year, our so-called leaders decided to spend $500,000 of our tax money to save a Cajunto club named Lerma's. I wish I was kidding, but this only underscores my criticism of this bureaucratic system. Now, I'm sure you're asking yourself, why would so much money be allotted to save a ridiculous nightclub, right? Well, if you knew the real answer, it will make you sick to your stomach. So now let me explain. But bear with me. This is a complicated web of bureaucracy. It's meant to be complicated, so that the general public won't have enough time to learn the actual facts of the matter. First, let's talk about what Lerma's nightclub was. It was once a popular Cojunto venue that was open for over 60 years and closed in 2010 because of city code violations. Now that should have been the end of the story and the rest is history. But for some reason that only the actors involved know, a social services organization called the Esperanza Peace and Justice Center decided to involve themselves with Lerma's. And for those of you in San Antonio who are unaware of the Esperanza Peace and Justice Center, I strongly suggest you do your own research on this organization. They proudly boast on their website, and the links are provided below, all the lawsuits it has filed against the city of San Antonio. Through this brand of frivolous litigation, they have forced the city to submit to their will. Seriously, this organization sues the city to get what it wants. Now, back to Lerma's. The year Lerma's closed in 2010 for city code violations that the owner or owners apparently didn't have enough money to fix, miraculously, in that same year, in 2010, the city council designates Lerma's as a historic landmark. Then, the very next year in 2011, it was listed in the National Register of Historic Places. And then by 2014, it made Preservation Texas's annual list of state's most endangered places. Now, why are all these historical accolades important? Because the very first historical designation of Lerma's by our city council is what set the others off. And because of all these historic designations, it all of a sudden becomes ethical, legal, and acceptable to allocate and funnel city funds to this now supposed historic landmark. Hence, the $500,000 earmarked in the San Antonio city budget to supposedly save Lerma's. So who is the $500,000 going to anyway? None other than the Esperanza Peace and Justice Center to, quote, preserve Lerma's. That's right. So just to recap, Lerma's had to close in 2010 for city code violations that whoever owned Lerma's did not have the money to fix. That same year, San Antonio City Council designates it as a historic landmark followed by other state and national historic designations. And, for some reason, which many can probably surmise for themselves, the Esperanza Peace and Justice Center gets involved. Then, in 2015, the city of San Antonio gives $500,000 to the Esperanza Center to preserve Lermas. This is how the city of San Antonio works and has worked ever since Henry Cisneros was mayor of San Antonio. Now I ask you a personal question, San Antonio. Would the city allocate funds if your property and or business was condemned for city code violations and you didn't personally have the money to pay for it? If your answer is no, then why not you? Why a Cajunto club that couldn't bring in enough paying customers to keep itself alive on its own? Or could it be because you're not chums 
with the right bureaucrats. With the right bureaucrats. With the right bureaucrats. With the right bureaucrats.